again. A little tutorial here on how to set up your databases for Trinity Core 335A. Now, I've already downloaded everything I need to download, and I have this cool little program called SQL Yog Enterprise. It's not a cheap program, but they do have a community edition. And the community edition you can find here, I'll put the link below. Uh, 64 bit, 32 bit, whichever one you need. I'm going to be using this one. This is my favorite program to use. Uh, but, anyways, what we have to do is we have to set up three different databases to get this to work. You need your auth, your characters, and your world. Now, in SQL Yog, I'll show you the shortcuts here. Control D will allow you to create a database name. Now, of course, like I said, we need the three. We need auth, we need characters, and we need world. Now, your auth and your character database comes with your Trinity Core when you download from the GitHub repository. World is different. World is a much larger file, and you can get that at Trinity Core's website and on GitHub, but I have the link right here, and I will link the direct link here down below. It'll be right below where you guys can hit subscribe and like. Anyway, so we're going to start out. I created a folder where I put the database file and I have the Trinity Core. Don't worry about the player bots saying I was too lazy to change the name. First thing we want to do is we want to extract it. You can just extract here. There's not too many files. Uh, WinRAR will extract the 7Z as long as you have the latest one. Now we have the SQL file we need for world. Let's go back over here to SQL Yog. Um, you, there's many ways you can do this, but I'm going to do this the simple way. You go over to the database you're looking at. We're going to start with auth. You right click, import, and restore from SQL dump. Now you've got to hunt for it. Mine I put in here. So the Trinity Core basic uh, repository has an SQL folder and inside is a base folder. That's where you'll find auth and characters. You just double click auth, click execute, tell it yes because you know you're right on the right one. It'll import and you're done. Uh, then your auth is set up. One of the great things about Trinity Core is they have set it up where it will automatically update your database for you. I remember a time where I'd have to manually put in 50 to 100 different SQL updates. You don't have to do that anymore. But you do the same thing over here to characters. Right click, import, restore from SQL dump, do the search, go to characters, now your world and your character databases are up to date. The uh, or your auth and your character databases are up to date. This one will take me a little bit longer because my computer is really slow today. I don't know what's going on with it. But once this is done, then you can do world. World takes a while. Uh, But it works the same way. You right click, import, restore from SQL dump. But today we might actually get an error. My SQL by default doesn't set up the uh, max query size large enough. So I could run this and some of the queries are going to be 100 megabytes. 50 megabytes, it sets it up by default 16. So this may give me a nasty little error saying my SQL has gone away. If it does that, if you get an error that says my SQL has gone away, it hasn't really gone anywhere, your query was too large, and you have to edit the INI file. I will post down below a simple command that you can place in this area up here, and then run it and it'll keep that from happening. It's a, it's a temporary fix. It ends when you restart your MySQL server. But now your database is all done and ready to go once this query finishes. 
I uh, hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, post them below and I will try and get to them. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and make sure you tell your friends.